did you guys think it left off on The Shining? You would be wrong. Because uh, book number two, Dr. Sleep, takes us into more places where Danny has never been before. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a quick review on Stephen King's Dr. Sleep. And from what I've read of this book, Danny as an adult is definitely Danny dad. If you remembered him from The Shining, his dad was an alcoholic and he was crazy and when they went to the hotel, it messed with his mind badly and <laughs> it was not good because he wanted to murder his wife, he wanted to hurt little Danny that was like five at the time and at the end of the story, they left the hotel, the dad died. That was that. Then, several years later, there's Dr. Sleep, and Danny is an adult, and he tries his best not to follow in his dad's footsteps, but that's a little difficult. And it also takes place in a small town in Iowa, which is really cool, and I've never heard of a town called Frasier before, and that was kind of exciting to see. It was just exciting, and I liked that. And then Danny goes on an adventure, and he finds out he has a niece who also has The Shining as well, and her parents didn't know what The Shining was until her uncle Danny came into the picture. And he's trying to help her so the crazy people don't try to kill her. And it goes through that, and it's action, and it's a little scary at times, but it's a good scary, and I like it. And if you like the first part of The Shining, you'll definitely like Doctor Sleep in the second one, because like I said, they go on adventures, and they try to kill the bad people that wants to hurt Danny's little knees, and they protect her with everything, and the girl in the hat, do not trust the girl in the hat, because she is a kid eater, is technically what they called her, <laughs> and she was a bad one, and it went and she disappeared in the end. I was excited. I cheered. And then they talked more a little bit about his Danny's niece growing up. They left off to like where she just turned 15. And it is boring. Okay, a good time to be talking about Dr. Slave, hey? But anyway, it was really good and I enjoyed it and I think you guys will too. So that is my review on Dr. Sleep. And I hope you guys like this video and again if you're new go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys next time okay okay bye